Welcome to this new episode of Do It Right, Dynamic Hydronic Balancing. Great to see you again. I'm Alejandro, and today we are going to talk about the role of hydronic balancing in four pipe HVAC systems, which we touched in the last episode. Then we will discuss how PICB technology has gained a key role in improving efficiency in those systems. We know by now the most common HVAC system use when managing heating and cooling within in a building. But let's now dig into how the hydronic balancing is performed. Let's start with the four pipe system combined with a two pipe terminal unit. In this case, you see that several devices are used for control and switching purposes. Either four valve and four actuators, or two valve, a three port valve, and three actuators. But you might ask yourself, what about balancing devices? Well, as the system here uses separate and independent hydronic piping lines for both hot and chilled water, it also needs separate and specific balancing devices. Those typically were manual balancing valve that you had to individually commission. Cooling applications typically presented higher flow than heating to meet the comfort demand due to the different delta T. Because of that, you had to separately set the manual balancing valve based on different requirements. Thus, it presents an important challenge for us to compensate each operational mode and guarantee the right flows in the terminal unit. This significantly increases the complexity of the operation as well as the overall cost of the process. Even with the introduction of the six-port valve, the balancing operation still is not perfect. Heating and cooling processes still require different flows to meet the application demand, and therefore still need a separate balancing device and process for heating and cooling. On the other hand, those devices are still manual balancing valve, something you should definitely improve, as you already know from prior episodes. But in order for you to have the system dynamically hydronic balanced, PICV technology must be added. For this reason, PICVs started being used in the outlet or inlet pipe of the terminal unit, along with the six-port valve. Now, the switching process is handled by the six-port, while the dynamic balancing is taken care of by the PICV. However, one problem still remains. You still have to meet the different maximum flow demands for heating and cooling. PICBs can only be manually preset for a single maximum flow value. Therefore, dynamic presetting is needed when the system switches from heating to cooling or vice versa. This is something the Siemens bundle solution can easily meet with the RDG series thermostat. This series harnesses the power of a four pipe application for six port and PICV configuration. The control sequence is able to dynamically adapt the PICV actuator stroke to meet the heating or cooling presetting requirements. The desired dynamic balancing is therefore achieved using a six-port configuration, although we have increased the number of devices using the solution from two to four. It is clear to us now that there are a lot of complex moving parts to take into account between a four-pipe HVAC system, including hydronic balancing. With proper PICV technology, you can bring these systems up to the highest performing and most efficient level. And that's truly exciting. So join me again. In our next episode, you will learn how we at Siemens have moved the boundaries once again for four pipe applications with an innovative product technology that will deliver another level of comfort, dependability, and energy efficiency. Thanks for watching Do It Right, Dynamic Hydronic Balancing. I'm excited to see you soon.